<sighs> hey guys, Lucas Green here, and I am back for the second of these Ben 10 rankings for the Adam Ferns Archives channel. Like our agreement, uh, both me and Adam are doing these for the Ben 10 Marathon. We're now on season three. This is my second ranking of the uh, three that I'm doing. This is the one for uh, this is the one for the villains, and then the last one should be one-off characters. So if I my list here right, it should be this one. Okay, here we go. At number twelve, we have Mr. Jingles. This guy is a lesser-known villain. He's not really a villain per se. Just a a, a guy who believes he's in the right, but actually he's in the wrong kind of villain. And he's kind of forgettable, so that's why he's at the bottom for me. Up next, we have Kane North, who essentially is the um, jealous brother stereotypical, stereotypical archetype, who's jealous of Tin. Was it Tim Dean and uh, his brother Abel for stealing the credit that he deserves? Uh, and uh, uh, I had my audio on. Hmm. Anyway. But yeah, so he's the jealous brother there. Um, the jealous brother of uh, jealous of other people's credit, like I said. Uh, he's an okay villain. He's more intimidating than Mr. Jingles, I guess, for obvious reasons. Uh, moving on, there's Sublimino. Uh, he's up next. Um, I guess, even though K North is a more serious threat, Sublimino has more potential to be a threat because he can uh, hypnotize other beings to get to get what he wants. Moving on from that, we have the coach, who's the coach android of the uh, baseball team, who's basically more destructible than I I would imagine Sublimino. He has like a, at least he has an, an R, a squadron of his own robots, and uh, he can uh, pose more of an intimidating intimidating factor to him. So that's why I both put the coach a bit higher than Sublimino. Above him is Sam, the weather robot, which has the potential to cause a lot of monstrous weather. Uh, I could see that becoming more of a threat than the coach was, so that's why he's above him. Um, one step further, we have the absorbing drone from the uh, visitor episode, which can absorb any uh, sort of metal or material to increase its own power and bulk. That is obviously probably probably either one of Vilgax or his most uh, antagonizing drone he's got. But yeah, that's impressive there. Uh, Moving on from that, we have Vilgax slash Anima from the Ben 10,000 episode. I decided to put these two together because they basically, uh, they basically, uh, are on a duo to get the job done. Um, even though they didn't succeed, it's nice to see their future incarnations and they do show they can kick butt, especially Vilgax, Vilgax as he's able to take down all 10,000 aliens of Ben 10,000. That's pretty cool. Moving on from that, we have the Werewolf slash Lowbone slash Shin or Dushi from the uh, Werewolf episode, Ben Wolf. And the Blitzwolfers, as, the, as what Ben calls them, are, it, it's a very powerful uh, being. Shooting off a powerful energy howl, standard Werewolf abilities, and uh, it caused them quite a, a problem, it would seem, for Ben, but actually it's... Turns out it's not really a werewolf, it's actually an alien called the Lowbone. So there's that for you. It's an interesting creature. Lowbone, I guess. Nonetheless, though, it's an interesting foe. But one more cool than that is the Mummy, which is also known as the Pep Kufan. Um, I, it, it gives a really creepy uh, dynamic to the Mummy. And being able to store coronium. And turning creatures into these zombie-like beings is pretty intimidating. So I feel like the mummy, even though it's not as powerful as the werewolf, it has more potential to be a threat, I find. So that's why I put it one step higher. Moving on, we have Charmcaster. Um, she's getting more of an independent role, it would seem. Especially with season 3, as she's progressing a bit further in power. And uh, it's like they say, if you spend time with somebody who's evil, you get to become... You get to learn from the best in a way. So that's... The, she basically rubbed off her uncle, basically. Moving on from that. Uh, Kenko, the shapeshifter. Um, even though he only gets one episode, he does appear to be a very powerful being. 
able to transform and mimic different creatures and stuff like that, that you, even to the point of m mimicking his allies, or not his allies, but mim mimicking his foes. So there is that for you, and only smelling salts can reveal him. So he is a, uh, and the, he his uh, old I mean, the reason why I put him so high is that he's fascinated about the greater arc of power. Like when he figures out that there's up, there's a, there's something more to the outside world, he wants to go and find it. So he he's looking for that upgrade icon just to get out and uh, do some harm in the real world. So yeah, that that takes him one step beyond what I was expecting for his character. Moving on, we have, of course, the big villain is obviously going to be Ghost Freak. He's the arcing villain of this series, marking his return. The only plot hole I have with it is that how did his henchmen uh, know about him? Did Ghost Freak somehow contact him in a spiritual plane, or did they just intend to bring him back? Or are they just... I don't know. That's the only plot hole I have with this whole arc. But apart from that, Ghost Freak... He comes back more powerful than ever in a point where Ben is vulnerable, so Yeah. And his all his plan of turning the whole world into like a zombie planet. Pretty int intimidating. But it was so nice to see him finally get back to the watch at the end of that. And I don't think he's ever used again in the original series though. Nonetheless though, there's my ranking of the Ben 10 villains uh, for season three. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I've been doing one more ranking for this series, and that will be the one-off characters, and there should be about 11 of those to go. Anyway, that'd be all from me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe, that good stuff, hit the notification bell, rank on down below so you can stay in tune for all topics that are on this channel. And I'll see you guys in a bit for the final video of this trio of videos. Thanks to Michael Ways. Thank you so much for watching, Michael Ways. Peace.